What's good, YouTube? I got another rare build for y'all. This is gonna be a pure playmaker. We gonna get right into it though. Just hit that like button, hit that sub button, and hit them post notes. So we gonna go six six on this one. You wanna take your weight all the way down to minimum and the wingspan. You gonna max that out. Go seven three. We gonna go define and we gonna jump right into the playmaking. So this was gonna separate you from a lot of six six builds. You gonna have the Hall of Fame hyperdrive and. You see, maxing out your speed with ball, you actually can't get the Hall of Fame hyperdrive. You can get Hall of Fame quick first step, but not the hyperdrive. So we're gonna lower this real quick, and we actually gonna get the Hall of Fame hyperdrive with the ball handle, bruh. So this is gonna be super fire, bruh. <laughs> Cause the 92 ball handle, not only do this give you Hall of Fame quick first step and Hall of Fame hyperdrive, but, and, and this is the tallest that you could be with Hall of Fame hyperdrive, bruh, 6'6". Six, six. Six sevens can't get it, but you actually get all the other like moving hezies. You get the moving crossovers like, bro, you get this Steph Curry. You're going to have the Curry slide with this, bro. <laughs> you feel me? So you only got to have, well, you got to have a 92 ball handle to get all of the, uh, the dribble packages in the game and everything. Well, 92 speed with ball for like the dribble styles, but everything else, 92 ball handle and you own you like it's not a height requirement like for the curry slide it's not 92 ball handle and under 65 bruh it's under 610 you feel me so bruh <laughs> you gonna have all of those dribble packages that those little guys get bruh so we're gonna put this up to 75 right here and my fault not 75 86 this is giving you 26 playmaking badges that's super fire and if you're using the double shooting badge core the, uh, the, the double shoe and badge core pattern, you still gonna be able to core a playmaking badge. So this is super fire. We gonna go up to the finishing and, oh yeah, bro, what's your, uh, what's your pass act? So if you went up to 96, if you went up 10 points, you're only getting two more playmaking badges. So I really just don't think that's worth it. You only gonna unlock your Hall of Fame bailout, Hall of Fame needle threader. It's just not worth it, bro. Just keep this at 86. And you see, oh God, bro, that's five whole overall points, bro. For two badges, we good on that, bro. You feel me? If you want to add more playmaking badges on, just add them from your extra badges from the career and hit level 39. But I'm gonna show y'all what you can do with this build. We are gonna go 84 right here on a driving dunk. So you get the, uh, the pro contact dunks. That's gonna be super fire on a pure playmaker. Go 82 on a, uh, on a driving layup. You get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer. That will hit in the wreck. But you do want to be using your Acrobat and everything like that. Close shot. We're going to put this up to 67. So you get 16. You get 16 finishing badges. That's all you need. And again, if you're using a double shoe and badge core, you're not going to be able to core another finishing badge. So just equip this uh, this limitless takeoff. And bro, just put your trust in that, bro. You feel me? Not gonna hold you. You're not gonna need that finishing badge core. You just use that double shoe and badge core. And even if you use the double playmaking badge core, you feel me? That'd be fire too. I really just don't think that you need to use it. Cause you feel me? Shooting is still like very needed in this game, bro. <laughs> like you feel me? I would definitely go with the double shoe and badge core. But we're gonna put up your three ball and just watch all the badges. That, that you get in a light up by putting up this midi too. Most importantly, this silver blinders. You feel me? So you're gonna go 77. Your free throw, you wanna put that at 70. And with 18 shooting badges, you definitely gonna be able to hit consistently. Being able to core two, like I'm not I'm not gonna say you gotta go with the uh with the double shooting badge core, but it's a great idea, bro. Like, I'm not gonna hold you because if you core the blinders. Like you need the quarter blinders. This is probably your most important badge in the tier three, but you feel me? You might want to core like your yeah, Asian three, even though you getting those badges on bronze, bruh. You just really might want to core those, bruh. Not gonna hold you. I would say out of these, yeah, I would use either Asian three or Dead Eye. Like Asian three is, it's not that that big of a boost on bronze, so I kind of would want to use Dead Eye. It's really up to you though. Nah, yeah, I, I still would go Asian 3, bro. <laughs> it's up to you, but blinders for sure. 
and you got 16, 18, and 26 so far. We're gonna put up the interior. You wanna put this up to 73. 73 on a 6.6 six is great interior, bro. I'm not gonna gas it. That's definitely gonna help you get like chase downs. It's gonna help you defend slashers, everything like that. Your perimeter rating, you wanna put this up to 76. They give you the gold ankle braces. You get the silver pig dodger. And your steel rating. This was gonna separate you from a lot of bills, bro. This 90 steel, you can go 91 if you want to, but this 90 steel is gonna go crazy, bro. Cause you can actually play the lanes and you feel me? You're not, you never gonna feel like you're useless on defense, bro. Like never, <laughs> you feel me? Even though you don't got a super high perimeter rating, like you can have a super high perimeter rating and still get cooked, you feel me? Especially if you don't got no steel rating, but that gold interceptor is really what's gonna let you play them lanes. And we are gonna put up your block rating, you wanna go 75. It's giving you 18 defensive badges. I really would say, yeah, that's really all you need, bro. Not gonna lie, you gonna wanna core. You gonna wanna core the uh, the interceptor for sure. Then equip glove. Yeah, I probably would equip the, equip the glove on silver. That's gonna go crazy. But put up your speed, your acceleration. And strength state 48, we're gonna go 92 here. So this is super fire, bro. Again, this is a pure playmaker. 6-6 six, six with the Hall of Fame hyper drive. Gold interceptor going crazy on this. <laughs> you feel me? But you get the slash and take, shot creating, sharp, and the playmaking. On a pure playmaker, I probably go team takeover boost and maybe the team Ravens boost, bro. You really could go with a sharp after that. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You could go with a sharp after that, bro. That's gonna go. Too crazy, bro. <laughs> On a pure a pure playmaker with the contact dunks and everything, bro. So we're gonna get to the badges real quick. Max that out. So for your finishing, fearless finisher, acrobat. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even say, yeah, like, you really, you don't even need this. Nah, the Giant Slayer, my fault. Giant Slayer. And, yeah, that's your 10 right there. Equip that. Well, core that, you feel me? And, yeah, you're not going to be able to use another one. But, I would say, you feel me? You feel like bronze. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, my fault. Silver right there. Just... If you're not using a double shooting badge core, like this is just, you feel me, the regular setup. But for your shooting, you're gonna wanna use Green Machine Silver, Gold Volume Shooter. Yeah, it's a couple different, it's a couple different things you could do with this. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, again, if you use the Space Crater, that's gonna go stupid, bruh. Blinders, we're gonna core that. Agent 3 bronze. Go, go right there. And, bro, this is a fire setup. So, again, if you could core two badges, then with this exact setup, you're gonna be able to core your, uh, your limited range with it. But really, it's gonna give you these points returned and everything, these five points. And still allow you to core. Yeah, so is yeah, matter of fact, you're just gonna wanna core these two probably. Or these two. Depending on what you're trying to do, but with those points that you're getting in return, you probably gonna wanna use you probably gonna wanna up your clutch shooter. Maybe use Claymore if you play off the ball. But yeah, I probably will focus on these tier three badges. Like I'm not even gonna lie, like these is the best. But for your playmaking. You want to go Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Hall of Fame Hyper Drive, Gold Unpluckable, Killer Combos, I definitely would use that. And gotta have Bell out on. Perfect. 
probably need a third year for a fact. That's fire right there. Yeah, 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 for a fact, because you got an unflappable one. You really could do whatever you want with this build, but you feel me? If, you, if you're if you going with the double shoe and badge core, remember you could core the same amount of playmaking badges, but if you're using that double, uh, that double playmaking core, <laughs> like that's really gonna go crazy. Not even gonna lie, like playmaking is one of the areas where you you might want to have more badges, bro. You feel me? Cause clamp breaker with you feel me the killer combos and all that, bro. Like, cause those do trigger at the same time, bro. This is gonna go crazy. Yeah, uh, defensive badges. We gonna put on workhorse. Chase down, put that on. Anchor, gotta have that on. So you got 10 equipped right there. Core that, equip that. And I probably would say like, hold on, yeah, yeah, I was about to say where Pig Dodger at, bro. Yeah, Pig Dodger. You do want to have that on, but you feel me? You do want to have that, uh, the workhorse on too, you feel me? So depending on what you're trying to do with it, if you want to add a couple more defensive badges in, that'd be fire too. That'd really make you like, really like a lockdown build, bro. But I'm going to hit you on the next one. Just hit that like button for me at that sub button.